it's a brave book. It's cur- it's courageous in the sense that you don't hold anything back. Was that a consideration at all? Or like, did you just go all in on this story, wherever it le- led, wherever it would go, that's where you were going. That, that's where I was going. Yeah. You know, I said from the very beginning, Mary Pat is a racist. Is mm-hmm. she as racist as some of the other people in the book? No. But is she as non-racist as she thinks she is when the book starts? No. <laughs> and, I, and it's really about her journey to understand racism. Nobody's born racist. It's simple. I'm sorry. It's just, it's amazing that you have to keep repeating that this late in the world. Mm. Um, you don't find too many four-year-old racists. Just doesn't happen. Um, and so racism is taught. Racism is taught and it is handed down. It is handed down like genetic deformity or a virus, whatever you want to call it. But it is handed down. And Mary Pat's journey is to understand her culpability in that. Mm-hmm. That's really the story that she got. That's her story here is, is did I inadvertently contribute to the violence that has robbed her of everybody she loves? Mm-hmm. You know, her husband has left her before the book starts. And the, his reason is because of your hate. And she doesn't understand it. She doesn't get it. Mm. She's like, what do I hate? I'm just going along, you know? Mm. And and then each of the other people who she loses throughout the course of her life, if you do the long connection, it's it's they were all hung, but they were all stuck in the same rage. They were all stuck in the same self-destructive victimization. They were all stuck in racism. Mm. 